We do family history work because we know that there are people on the other side of the veil waiting for their work to be done. They need to be able to return to be with our family as a unit, with our Savior. And everything we do in the church, it all is done with one objective in mind, and that is to get our people into the temple. And we hope that all the people in the church will be able to have that sublime experience of doing temple ordinance work for their own people. We had wonderful temple experiences going to the temple for our own ancestors. I feel like I can do family history work now, where before I felt intimidated. Sometimes I stay up late at night because I just can't quit. I just have to keep going. So it kicked off a whole new thing in my life that I've never experienced before, never knew about. My grandpa, he was an LDS. So when he passed away, I found this Bible, very old. There was names and dates pre-America in there. You discover probably over a thousand names in this book. The names that are in there, no one else is taking care of right now. And bang, right there was my grandpa's name with his family. And I was like, drilled. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. It's starting to instill in me how I wanted to take care of his work for him. The greatest thing out of all this for me so far is I was able to go to the temple and perform the work and have my grandparents healed. My kids were able to help and it took it on a whole different personal level with my kids, my family, my immediate family. As a family, it can strengthen you so much as you work together. My father-in-law has done a lot of family history research and he has gone through and cleared a lot of names. It started uh, when I came to college. I just felt complete when I was doing family history work and temple work. He then prints the cards and I divide them up so that grandkids in the family have the opportunity to take those to the temple and do the baptisms. When they come out of the water, having been baptized for an ancestor, they come out with tears in their eyes. Uh, this happens over and over again. When I have gone through and done work and I look at the card and I see that one of my kids did the baptism, it gives me a moment of happiness as I look at that and it just ties you together as a family. It's one of the most wonderful ways of solidifying a family around their faith to realize that they've been serving their ancestors on the other side of the veil. You know, it's gotta be a, a celebration that finally something's gonna move forward. And boy, that, that carries a lot of weight on my shoulders. And I can't, again, do it without those that are gonna be around me. Before, I just felt like I was the only one that had to do them, and I had to hold on to those names and get them done because I was the only one. We have over 12 million reserved names in those files now, some of them having been there for many years. This is an opportunity for families to release some of those reserved names for the youth, or they can release them to other places in the world who can help get that work done in a timely way. So as an Ellis Corn presidency, we planned very focused home teaching efforts on family history, help the families overcome any obstacles to help them put together a family history plan. Family history isn't about just researching, but it's also about understanding where you came from and who you are. Interviews with our grandparents. A lot of little children really getting to know their grandparents on a more personal level. My children were inspired by talking to their grandparents. I'm probably not the first to say this, but only if. <laughs> only if I would have had some of this information and some of this experience before my grandpa passed away. I think the Lord is hastening its work right now and needs everybody, even children. As they go to temples a lot in their youth and develop those habits, that they will go throughout every stage of their life. It's a work of conversion. It's the work of connecting families. It is the time and the season when the work is being hastened. We want to rescue them from their spiritual drift into a focus that will lead them to eternal life and all the blessings that God has in store for his faithful people. That's what he wants. So we're his helpers. <laughs>